Hey guys, my name's Cody Brown, and today I'm gonna teach you how to design cups. I acquired this cup in- What are you, what are you doing, man? <laughs> I was just having my coffee and I saw the yeah, camera and the you're, mic you're and- not, You're not Cody Brown. These situations are just confusing for me. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry guys, uh, John, he gets a little excited sometimes, um, but he's not wrong. We're, we're gonna learn how to design a coffee mug today. So um, I've had this kind of camping mug for a while. I got it at Dark Horse Coffee in San Diego. And I really like these camping mugs. I think they're really cool. Um, they're kind of trending right now and um, they're just fun to have, like instead of like your typical kind of mug at your house. Um, so I think we're gonna jump into Illustrator. I'm gonna show you how to design a simple graphic in probably under like three minutes. All right, guys, so I have uh, graphicburger.com opened up. I've done some tutorials with this website before. Um, definitely check them out, graphicburger.com. They give a lot of free resources out. Uh, we're gonna use this uh, enamel camping style mug. Um, I've already downloaded it, so let's see, I have it in Photoshop here. Let me open it, cool. So essentially this file gives you two mugs. We're only gonna worry about this, um, this one on the right here. So we're gonna put our design on this. So let's jump into Illustrator. And let's make a document at, um, let's see, 14 by 16 inches. That's just kind of like a general size that I like to design in, especially if I'm doing t-shirt designs or camping mugs, things like that. Um, I'm also trying out this new camera angle, so let me know if you guys like this or not. But um, I think it'll, uh, I'm trying to add a little bit more diversity to my videos. So if this is something you guys like, let me know, I'll keep it. If not, I'll get rid of it. Um, anyways, um, I think I'm gonna make my design have to do with, uh, like a medical marijuana kind of weed kind of design. So we'll see how this turns out. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little a little pot leaf here. So let's start in the center with our pen tool and then just kind of go straight up and then click again. And we're gonna kind of make the, uh, like the first leaf here. So I'm gonna kind of just give it a little bit of a bend and we're gonna make our stroke a little bit thicker. Maybe like a, like a seven point, maybe like an eight point. So that's half of our um, our weed leaf here. Um, I'm gonna duplicate this by holding Alt and Shift and just dragging it over. So you made a copy like that. I'll right click and go to Reflect and hit Preview so you can see what you're doing. And then I'll just drag this back so it kind of connects. Uh, Illustrator will kind of snap it for you. And then we're gonna grab our Direct Selection tool, grab both points, hit Command J to join them. See how it joined them there? And we'll do the same on the bottom one, Command J. Now, when it joins it by default, it gives it that pointy look. We want it to be round, just because I kind of prefer that. Um, so I'm gonna grab the whole selection here, go to my stroke, and then go to the corners. I'm gonna cl uh, click round join. There, now we have a, kind of a nice little rounded beveled uh, leaf there. Um, so that's our first leaf. So I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna get the rotate tool, and then I'm gonna move my little pivot point down here at the bottom because this is where I wanna like pivot it from. We're gonna make this little weed leaf look like it's kind of like expanding out like a flower. So, so now that we have our first leaf, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. And we're just gonna size this down by holding alt and shift to kind of make it a little bit smaller because this is gonna be the second leaf that it comes from. And then we're gonna move it down to the bottom of the origin point. And from here, we wanna make this kind of um, come out from the left because we're going to make this kind of like a marijuana plant. So I'm going to grab my rotation tool, move the center axis to the bottom, and then just kind of bring it this way. So see how we kind of have like that second leaf happening? Now if we go to edit, paste in place, we still have that original one copied. We'll just size this down again, a little bit smaller than the previous one, uh, like a cascading kind of leaf effect. And we'll do the same thing, we'll bring it down, holding shift, bring it down to the origin point, get our rotate tool, same thing again, move this um, pivot point to the bottom of the origin, and just bring it over. I'm just gonna kinda like eyeball it like that. So now I'm gonna make the final leaf um, on the left side here. So I'm gonna go edit, paste in place, and then I'm gonna size it down a lot, because it's gonna be the smallest little one. And again, bringing it back to the origin. I know it gets a little repetitive, but it's worth it, trust me. Bring your little uh, pivot point to the bottom and just bring it here. There, now that we made this side, all we have to do is grab that, edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then we're gonna right click and go to transform, reflect. See how I made that copy? 
And then we're just going to hold shift and drag it over and just make sure it's lined up. And there's our little, uh, little marijuana plant. Isn't it cute? Cool. So that's our main graphic. We're going to go ahead and group that. Um, but I want to add like some text with this too. So maybe we can add, um, let's see, flower power. That's our camping mug slogan for this. And let's go to DDC Hardware. This is um, Aaron Draplin's font that he made that I think he did in collaboration with Lost Type. So definitely go check out Lost Type and uh, show some love to those peeps. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to make like a fun, like fun design today that's a little bit different. I've done coffee, I've done um, beer designs, but I haven't done cannabis yet. So let's see what we can do here. Um, let's get some color going. Um, I'm thinking maybe like a bright orange. Um, what happens if I make this orange? It's kind of cool. Um, actually, I might keep this black. All right, um, now that we have this kind of cool thing happening here, I want to add some more elements to make this a little bit more interesting. So maybe we give this kind of like the little like stem. We'll just sample the same stroke with the eyedropper. And I want this, the edge of this stroke to be round. So let's go back to the cap and make it round. It's kind of like a maple weed leaf or something. I don't know. Um, and then I'll go back to my black color and let's just go from here to here. So I'll just draw this line. And I kind of want to make like a wave element because it's like, I live in Southern California, kind of want to tie it all together. So let's go to, let's see, effect, distort and transform, zigzag. That's funny that it's zigzag when we're making a weed plant. All right, so let's go to smooth and click preview. And you can see that it kind of makes it wavy. So we're going to add a little bit more segments here, maybe like, nine so it's symmetrical and let's just make these not as wavy we just play with these settings here like 0.1 that looks cool hit okay and then let's just center make sure this is centered so if i just kind of move it over and kind of see what's going on here um, and then we want to make some duplicates so if i hold alt and shift and let go and hit command d a few times you get some copies there now that I see this like this, I want to make this orange so there's more contrast. Um, and this guy's a little big. Maybe we bring him down just a little bit. He's just kind of dominating the uh, composition there. That's looking cool. So let's go ahead and copy our design. Control C. Go back to Photoshop and see how, uh, if I go into this mug layer here, if you double click on where it says your design here, it opens up another file. That's the placeholder where it says, let's go outside. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're just gonna paste our design in here. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. See how that looks. We'll save it. We'll go back to our design. That's cool. But we don't want it to be blue. I'm thinking more of like a, um, kind of like a light tan or something. Yeah. That way the design kind of pops off it a little bit more, more like a cream color. And then I kind of want to size it up a little bit more. So what I can do is I can just go back to my PSP, control T, just shift, alt, scale it up. I don't want it too much bigger. Let's go to save, go back to the design, and that's looking cool. Let's just change the background color to something like this, a little like peachy kind of cream color. So yeah, that's a cool little camping mug. And there you have it, guys. Now you know how to design a camping mug with a nice little kind of graphic on it. Uh, oh, one sec. Sorry guys, Cody's florist is here to deliver his flowers. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And in the next few weeks, we're gonna be up in Yosemite getting some really cool footage. So be sure to check back. Thanks.